Well, hey there, everybody. Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. You know, over here at the channel, we're, we love blades and we love wilderness knives, uh, larger ones, particularly like the SE Hungalus and the BK9. You know, they uh, do a lot of work for you in the chopping and splitting realm for batoning as well as clearing, you know, branches as well as falling, falling small trees. But uh, I'm, the more that I get out here into the wilderness, the more I use my products, the more I test out uh, axes and hatchets, the more value I see in them for the splitting and um, chopping tasks. And today we're checking out the Husqvarna uh, 13 inch hatchet. That's what we're looking at here today. This is um, something of a powerhouse and particularly for the price point when we're gonna talk all through that today. Um, but this is definitely kind of in that old world style, you know, something that you'd see Paul Bunyan trekking around with, carrying on his hip, uh, you know, an old woodsman from the 1800s, you know, going out there and, you know, surviving and trekking across, you know, the wilderness. Uh, this is kind of in that design and in that style. We got a hickory handle, we got a Swedish forged head, and uh, we're just going to really take a look at this thing today. You know, we've done some other. Um, more production polymer handled, you know, hatchets like the Fiskars and Schrade. And this is going to be really our first option and first dive into classic hatchets and axes with this Husqvarna 13 inch hatchet. So with that being said, let's get out there, start looking at this hatchet, start using it and see what this thing can do and how it performs. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at some of the specs here on this Husqvarna hatchet. Now, the handle is a hickory made handle, one piece of wood, so that's real nice, good, sturdy wood. Uh, now, the length from the bottom to where the head begins is 13 inches, and I believe that's what the specs are when you're, you know, going to purchase this on Amazon, which uh, on Amazon, this goes for $40, so that's the, the purchase price for this Husqvarna. The actual length from the handle to the top of the handle, bottom to top, is actually 15 inches overall uh, length. Then you have an overall length from on the head from front to back of six inches you have a 3.25 inch cutting edge the head is made in hand forge made in sweden so that's really nice it's a high carbon steel with a rockwell in the low 50s kind of like uh, between 52 and 54 i believe if i remember correctly and then the head itself is one inch thick nice big piece of steel there you got a steel ring to spread the wood to kind of make sure that it's seated really nice into place with that head. The axe itself is gonna weigh in at 35 ounces. And uh, those are a few of the basic specs, guys, on this hatchet. All right, guys, just wanted to show you the sheath here that comes with the hatchet. Now, it is a leather sheath, very well made. I like the sheath a lot. It's got those really nice rivets in there to hold it into place. You got a really nice, strong button there. Uh, and it was it came to me without this shock cord. And what I did was just take a drill bit and uh, made a hole through the leather and then attach some shock cord. The reason being is when you put the sheath on without any sort of you know back attachment, you can, when you pull really hard, actually pull the sheath off of the head uh, without having to release the button. So it's not quite as snug as I would have liked. I like the overall, you know, that's leather, high quality in that sense, but the design isn't quite there without having to do some simple shop cord or a leather strand or a paracord strand. So when you do that though, it makes it very easy for you to just slide, click the button, and then move the bungee and put it over the head. Now, with that bungee right there, 
it doesn't want to move and it's going to be nice and secure and keep your hatchet edge safe when you are hiking and trekking around. Check this out. One foot gear tie from Night Eyes. Put your hatchet through, hangs on your hip right there. Just weaved it through my belt. Those stabilize it. You are good to go. Very cool. All right, so in this review of the Husqvarna, I really want to run in the Fiskars X7, previously reviewed here on the channel. I love the X7. And the reason for that is that for polymer design, more production style knives, uh, excuse me, hatchets, the Fiskars X7 is really um, one of the best you can purchase. It's $25, Scandinavian made, not Chinese made. So uh, that really helps out a lot. And that's this was my very first hatchet that I purchased for the channel to review, uh, I think a year ago almost. Uh, and so for a lot of you, you may already own this Fiskars. And so the natural progression, if you want to get into a budget, more natural, more old world style of not having polymer, but having wood handles and, uh, you know, a solid head, not, you know, an enclosed head, those type of things. The Husqvarna is really uh, the best bang for your buck at $40 as well as, um, you know, size range as well, very close in size. So if you like your Fiskars X7 and you're watching this review because you're wondering if you want to kind of upgrade to a more natural, more, you know, uh, old world style, the Husqvarna would be the natural progression for you. So that's why I wanted to run in this X7 and just kind of show you some comparisons here um, as well, because we were very impressed with the uh, uh, X7. So the, in comparison to the Husqvarna, what you're going to have is a half inch thick head. The Husqvarna has a one inch thick head. So you can see that that is a massive difference. So the splitting capabilities are really beyond compare. The Husqvarna is gonna be able to split wood a lot better than your Fiskars will. It's just pure physics. I mean, half an inch thicker on the head. The other thing to note when we line these up is that the Fiskars is definitely a smaller head overall. You can see there, uh, it's about, oh no, no, almost an inch shorter in overall length and it does have about a quarter inch smaller blade. The blade on the, uh, Husqvarna is three and a quarter, and I believe, if I remember correctly, the Fiskars is three inches. So uh, you're looking at a quarter inch bigger blade right there as well. The other thing is the, the handles. Now, the Fiskars has that polymer handle, it's hollow, and it's got a really big flare out and a lanyard hole. And that has one of the best ergonomically designed handles that I've tested so far on a hatchet. You don't even need a lanyard. This hook right here just keeps you locked into place. You can chop all day and the, and the hatchet doesn't want to fly out of your hand. Fantastic. So I was a little concerned when I purchased the Husqvarna how well it would stay in my hand because it's a lot more natural, doesn't have any sort of hook like the uh, X7 does, but what I was, what I found out through all the chopping you've seen there, you'll notice that I never once reset my hands. As long as you run a lanyard through the lanyard hole, you're set. It locks you into place really well. I was very surprised. Keeps you really set, and I never had to reset through all the different chopping tasks that I did, which is fantastic. The X7 is still a little bit better on the ergonomics because of that flare out, and you don't need a lanyard. But as long as you rock a lanyard and get a good tight, you know twist on around your wrist that the uh, Husqvarna will never you know fly out of your hand and will really be locked into place which is fantastic so I want to give you my final thoughts of these two comparisons before I give you the total final thoughts on the Husqvarna itself so uh, now that you've seen kind of me talk through these two uh, I got to tell you, obviously, the Husqvarna is going to be a lot more powerful than your X7. It's bigger, it's heavier, it's thicker. I mean, all those things that we've talked about. And that's not to say that the X7 doesn't have its purpose. And this is what I really kind of want to talk to you about. Now, uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I live in the Rocky Mountains. I do a lot of hiking and backpacking. So I am looking always for a lightweight mobile system uh, to get me where I need to go, as well as the tools that I'm going to have when I get there. Uh, and if you are looking for that type of system, you're like me. Um, you know, I, sometimes I'll, I'll do a five mile, 10 mile hike. And in that 10 miles or five miles, I might climb 2000 feet in the Rockies, you know, so I, I don't, I can't really justify the 35 ounces that this hatchet weighs for that type of a loadout and that type of a system, though it is going to split better, chop better and all those things. But it's just purely because of the weight and how big it is. Whereas with the uh, X7 for a more mobile task like that, uh, it is going to be obviously about 10 ounces lighter like 11 ounces lighter. Uh, so that's gonna be a big help as well as the sheath uh, that has the handle just gives me a little bit more of the lashing options and is better for the more mobile backpacker uh, hiker than the Husqvarna. On the flip side, if you're a car camper, you do a lot of car camping, you're more of a homesteader, maybe you have like a lot of property and you're just looking for a little mobile hatchet that you can carry on you as you walk around your property and do some, you know, regardless if it's your form of landscaping on your property, if you will, or, you know, just splitting some wood for your fire or whatever, 
or if you're a flatlander and you don't really have a lot of, you know, um, you know, ups and downs and it's just pretty flat land, but you are looking for a really powerful hatchet, well then the Husqvarna is gonna probably be the better choice for you because it will definitely split better and chop better because of the thicker head and the more weight. Well, folks, it's time for us to bring this review on the Husqvarna hatchet to a close. And I got to tell you, there's just something about this hatchet that really connects with me. You know, the uh, Scandinavian made high carbon steel head, the hickory handle, the leather sheath just takes you back to a time, you know, of like the pioneer days or a trapper or a woodsman. And not only does it make you feel like you're one of those people uh, living in the 1800s or 1700s, but it just regardless if it's true or not, it just feels like it's built to last. You know, there's a level of durability that you feel, oh, this isn't plastic man-made materials. I mean, this is na nature. This is hard wood that they put inside and put, you know, made for this uh, handle for this hatchet and the high carbon steel. You know, you, even though it's probably made in a factory, I'm sure it feels like some crazy Viking hammered it out, you know, in his forge and then sent it over across a sailing ship. And then they put the hickory handle on it and gave it to me. And now I'm, you know, it's out in the mountain somewhere building my homestead or something like that. There's just that level of connectability with um, times gone by that this hatchet delivers, this Husqvarna, guys. So, um, durability, quality, it's definitely there. Like we've talked about, the head performs really well. I think the high carbon steel is gonna perform a little bit better than other hatchets out there on the market that are more modern, uh, like an X7 from uh, Fiskars, Gerber hatchets, and Schrade. You know, they all make similar price pointed and sized hatchets, uh, but you know, they got that technology behind them of like the polymer handles, and uh, some of them have Chinese steel, some of them don't. But uh, I think that the, the quality of high carbon steel that they're using with this is just a little bit better. It'll hold the edge a little bit better. Uh, final thing to note is that this is the heaviest hatchet we have reviewed to date. So that's a pro and a con. Obviously pro that it's got huge horsepower. This thing splits and chops better than any of the other hatchets that I've reviewed to date. Uh, the downside is that when you are hiking and if you have to backpack or hike into your location to use this, you gotta weigh you know, the pros and cons of that. Is there either a lighter hatchet or maybe a large fixed blade that's gonna do a little bit better for you than this because you're gonna maybe backpack 10 miles. You know, And, and uh, with this heavy a hatchet, you just have to consider those things. So um, things to note, uh, but if you like what you see here and you're willing to carry the weight, this thing is a monster and will absolutely perform extremely well for you. So guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. My likability on this is five out of five, before I forget, five out of five on the Husqvarna hatchet. Uh, please check us out on all the relevant social media. Subscribe, comment, like this video. And as always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.